Hello. Hi, good morning to all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, good morning sir. sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay, great. So, Let me share my Okay, what is the concept that we are discussing? Class based life cycle hooks, right now. Let me close this one. Let me open. Screen is visible to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Right. Okay. So yesterday, finally, we are able to see the list of items right now. Let me open this one. Okay, we don't need to open because only we have to do work this one. Then. Okay. Now. From to do's container to it is oh, we are giving a call to to do's list that is sending the property or sorry uh, to do's property and it is having group of items and we are extracting and pushing to to do item to display one by one the design in this to do's item we have sample thing. OK, we even have seen a group of items yesterday and now. Instead of listing out of all the items. I want only few items. Then. How? Question mark that is after the URL. Question mark. Underscore limit make it 10 or 15 or 5 whatever you want now in this we are planning to add two points what are those okay the one that we are seeing here and Beside that, let me write an input element. Input type equals to checkbox. Where checked equals to completed. If completed for that particular item is true, that will get tick mark. Or else 
it won't get tick marked. That is one part. Okay, additionally, let me just write the class name me hyphen b. Now, the same way this one, let's write the class name me hyphen t and that too. Now, at right hand side of this, we are writing the type button, the class name, btn space, btn hyphen primary. Then You can make it here. Delete, that is just X mark. OK, as it is a point of delete, let me write danger. So for timing, we have just given like this. We are planning to make it some actions for this. OK, let's do one thing. Let us first see the result once again. npm paste start in this meanwhile those who have already completed or deployed whatever you have done so far in your repositories you can just share your sorry share your links at the end we'll see we'll discuss if there is anything else to discuss or sessions or something as queries, whatever it is. OK.
right so this is one right now when we click on this right we are able to see the list of items and for each and every item whatever the item it is having completed as true it is getting tick mark whereas these items just displaying for each and every time a crossbar and we will be planning to do some action part so here additionally to this concept we are even planning to make it a concept of uh, what do you say when you click on this for example any item when you just click on it it has to convert into true once again when you click on it it has to convert into false right so like this we will plan okay additionally so we are changing something action part there is uh, we are doing some change action part or updating action part whereas deleting action part at the same time will be even writing will be asking that user to enter the new item also this concepts okay so observe clearly seems to be um you have to observe one important point how the properties are working or passing the first example itself you can understand here from the to do's container you are created a concept to do list component to this component we have a property and this property is getting the data from this right okay additionally to this now we are writing handle change props it is also one of the property but this time it is connecting to method handle change additionally delete to do props this dot del to do okay you are having two properties which are connected to the functions we have to write the definitions for this but if you observe in the to do's list we have given these are the three properties the first property already we have completed how it's working then go to to do's list concept in to do's list now write same handle change props and here you can write this dot the properties which is coming from to do's container page into this handle change props then delete to do props this dot props dot delete to do props so from there we have entered into the to do's list from this we are even entering into the to do's item because it is the main place where we have to or take an action parts now in to do item we can write here for the input element on change and that equals to 
opening closing parenthesis and write this dot props dot handle change props of that particular id that particular list id okay that means when user clicks on a particular input element if it is already completed it will un un complete now that is if already completed is having true it will change to false or else it will change to true like this but to get an idea to the program to the react parser on which element that on which input element or on which item that user clicked we have to pass an id right a simple example when you have group of items and you have planned to update your record you are clicking on a particular item that will be sending it an id based on that id or unique id it will be updating or deleting right like this in the same way now when you just come down here for the button on click and that equals to opening closing parenthesis this dot props dot delete to do props of id okay then so now we have connected finally in the to do's item either user is taking an action of input element of changing it is true or false or completed or not completed or else deleting button we are saying that we are passing that respective id from here to here from here to here and that id are able to access with the methods of handle change and delete to do now let's concentrate on the concept of delete and change concept so first thing that you have to write okay let me write here handle change that equals to you please first follow the flow follow the flow understand how it's working later on you while you are practicing you have to concentrate on the syntax if you simultaneously plan to remember the syntax at the same time the sequence the flow it will confuse you because the syntax is totally new that's the reason don't think about the syntax first immediately if you are able to grasp that syntax okay if you are hitting totally new you just understand first the concept the flow how what is the property what is the state what is that handle change is doing what is that method what is the what are the properties that you have given to the particular component these things later concentrate on syntax wise okay so here handle change and that equals to id right now from where we got an id from to do's item to to do's list to do's list to to do's container into the handle change now with a set state because we have planned to change that action so to change that checkbox right now so we are giving a set to stay to do's to do's state dot to do's from the group of item of to do's
state dot to do's and you are extracting each and every item inside this you are checking that particular item of an id if it is equal to the given id then from that to do concept which we are having the completed we are updating with logical not symbol the meaning we are selecting the factor id what it is matching to that id results and the completed we are using a logical not if it is having true it will become false if it is having false it will become true that's and finally you have to return whatever you have done and updated things that is one point along with this you can if you observe here show default false you can also just do the action of here show logical not this dot date dot show okay so simultaneously you are even planning to update for that input element which is checkbox completed whereas at the same time show also we'll see why we have updated here okay this is a concept of we can say how we can pick up that particular id and extract the group of items check which item is matching with this given id do some action and completing the task then what about the delete so tell to do right we have given and id here no, no, it's if condition again. Sorry, if condition. The to do dot id, I'm not reading. If you observe here, you have to get a clarity. What is to do is saying? To do is not just a word. To do is a point of. Let me just open this link. To do is a combination of of these four properties. You are having an ID, right? This is coming from the group of items. When you just come down here, from the group of items that you are able to access an ID, user ID, completed title. Among these from the group of items of an id which you are passing that id if it is matching that is one equals to one or four equals to four then for that fourth item take that completed and change to uncompleted or something not exactly we say true or false whatever it is having true sorry whatever it is having the value at that moment we are just reverting or opposite and that updating here. Now got a clarity. This to do's is having these four properties. But we are not going to work with the user ID because user ID is same for all the items. Only ID is unique and title is something different and completed. Normally, G, it is a concept. It is a general concept actually to this concept today we have some meetings and we have listed out the first item second item third item whereas what is the description of that concept that meeting and second like this whether we have completed that one or not that is what a generally what we have planned the same thing here only thing is in terms of what do you say 
JSYN format we are extracting. Of course, we are getting the data. Now got a clarity. From this, we are extracting one by one item where each item, each record can have an access of its user ID, ID, title and body. Among this, ID is something unique for each and every item and which user is on which ID. For example, here if you see, we are having group of IDs, sorry, group of in, uh, L, uh, inputs, sorry, group of items. If I click on this, what will be the ID? Like one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth item and ID which I click that ID and in the list IDs, whether it is matching or not. To which item it is matching, we are doing updations. That is changes. Clear now? Yes, sir. Clear. Right. So now inside that delete state, uh, delete to do, here we are not having any authentication or else any authorization to directly delete that item which is coming from the given REST API right now. The JSYN placeholder is not our website to enter and do deletion. We have only a choice. If that particular ID is matching, we can just skip from output. We can just skip, skip from results. OK, so this dot set state. Produce. From that group of items, that triple dot, which is rest parameters. This dot. State dot. We are writing. Sorry, this dot state dot produce. Produce. From that. We are extracting one by one item map and filter almost same but what is the difference in both methods we are able to extract all the items but map is just a point of display that is extra not display extracting whereas filter is a point of taking the condition and whatever the condition is getting true those results only will be giving an output that is the difference so this dot state dot produce dot filter of to do here return that is from the group of items whatever that item it is matching that needs to be skipped whereas the rest of the items should display because we have planned a concept of deleting to not to show that item. So to do dot ID triple equals to like this. If you write like this, only that item will come. I mean, if I click on third item and there is click on button, third item button, that ID three, and entering into the block from the group of items. One triple equals to three that's skipping because it's getting false right now. Two double equals to three it's skipping. Three double equals to three. OK, it is ready to update in the to do's. Whereas four double equals to three that is false. So that means you are seeing only one which is matching, but we don't want that one. We don't we want that matching item should be deleted. That matching item should not display. The rest of the items should display. So opposite we have done. Logical not doubles double equals to. So now one not equals to three. Yes, it is true. Two not equals to three. It is yes, it is true. Whereas three not not equals to three. That is false. It will skip from that point. OK. So this is how you can do the concept of deleting option. 
Okay, let us check it out. These two actions. Just refresh. Okay, I'm just clicking on check second checkbox. Right. Whereas this one, how we to see it is get it is just a, taking that result ID and saving that one. Right. When I click on this one, okay, it is un. Right. That is one. That is previously it is false. Now it became true. The same way when you click on a particular item. Hello, Expedita. That particular item gone away. Gone away means is skipping from the output. When you click on, for example, this one. Right. 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 Like this. OK, we are just skipping the data from the given results. Skipping the item from the total given results. That's it. But once you refresh, it will get again all the default statements what we have planned. That is, it is just an instant only. No point of saving permanently. OK, then now clear up this point to all of you. Yes, sir. Right. Great. Yes, sir. Now, yes, great. Now let's move to the concept of uh, what do you say? We are going to display some header concept. So what they will do here is OK. It's your wish that you can write anyway. I hear I given here three rows right now. OK, here. Let's. For this header. Right. Header component. Header span. OK, anything header. Span. Is a property. And which is having its value. This dot. Eight dot. So. OK, now it's asking what is the header? OK. Let's. Where is the header? To this header. Inside this to do header. Import. React. From. React. Then write. Class. Header. OK, sorry. To do header right now. The name we have given. Correspondingly, let's write here. To do header. Even correspondingly. Here. Let's write to do header. OK. To do header and then. Now. Class to do header extends. React dot. Component. And export. Default. To do header. Then inside this. We are planning to show OK first. Let me write a render built in method. Inside this render built in method. Return statement and inside this inside this return statement. Let's write a simple due and let's me just make it something. OK, H1, H2, whatever it is. OK, and here. Welcome, so, tell me. Yes, Hello. Tell me, please. Uh, line number three, class two to header extended. React dot compare class two. Line number three. Ah, right. So, so uh, header. I don't. 
that are adding at you. Class produce header, correct only that. Spelling. H A D E R. No, sir. What is the meaning of line number three? What is the meaning of line number three? You are, yeah. <laughs> you are asking now. That's what that is so totally lack of practice. If you observe here, okay, see this question should not come once again. I'm just explaining now once again. Have you done this job? I mean, the event handlers. If you are done with that point, you would come to know what is the point of what is this? And the same thing you can understand this one. OK, we are already ahead of a number of points. OK, I'm just going to give a clear statement. Kindly go through recordings. Don't keep aside because most of the times I understood that you are unable to watch the total one and a half hour recording also. OK. So see, state if there is a question that needs to be something else, a precise manner and that needs to be given. Pre, what do you say depends upon the understanding level of the previous concepts, but it should not go back again to the concept. OK, because. When you don't do practice, then only you will be getting this kind of questions. What is the class? What is the name of that one? Whereas JavaScript also we have discussed. Could I know your good name, please? Who is speaking? <laughs> but don't think it's not a point of only for one member. I'm saying those who are not at all practicing, it's totally 100% your mistake only. I come to the straight point. If you are not practicing, if you're not getting 100%, it's your mistake. Meaning, as the previous sessions, you are not pop up. You are unable to move to the enhancements concepts. These points, those don't think that I'm a fresher, I'm a fresher, I'm a fresher. OK, I have to go. I have to think I have to get directly within the session itself. No one even I won't get if you teach something else new language to me, even Hindi. That is the same. I am unable to understand until unless I practice until unless I speak. So my statement kindly go through each and every record. It's 100 percent each. Don't keep aside my strict statement to all the members who are especially fresh heads. Now coming to the point, I'm just giving a clear idea once again. Listen. Non OK, coming to this point. What is the point of line number three? We are writing the concept of this program. We are creating header that is header, footer, sidebar like that. So. Among the concept of contain, sorry, among the concept of to do's. OK. We are already listed out some items that is body part is completed. Above that we are planning to display header part. So for that we are using here class components. This is a statement that we have discussed in the very beginning. There are two types of components. What are those two types of components? Class components and functional components. OK, what is a class component? A class class name here. What is a class name to do header and it is your user defined name which you have planned to do your action. Whereas. While writing like this class to do header, you know that you're planning to do something else, an action part or a program, but how the react will understand that is the concept. That's the reason you have to extend the features and get the functionality from the component module. React is a module and inside that react module, a sub module, we can say component. That's why a simple term, term this clear picture where you can get in JavaScript. Also, we have discussed class inheritance concept right now. Class class name. What is a class? A class is a template. It is a 
point of okay a class is a template which it can hold group of properties and methods at one place where it can able to access with the objects okay so that is the point but okay now got it just say i mean not saying forcibly say whether you received that got a clarity what is the class what is the class name and why we are writing this one means it is one of the concept of class component and why we are planning like the uh, why sir why we are writing like this means from the default or predefined class name which is this is also class name only component we are acquiring or we are fetching some properties states methodologies into our concept overall simple statement i say as this is the visual studio code having some plugins and something so on so on we are just using if it is not having if it is just a simply notepad plus plus or it is simply a notepad plus so note notepad file you can't write like this you can't get some coloring you can't get something a, a, a clear picture of understanding the coding part right now that means as this visual studio code is having some features we are using some features and writing our program in the same way component is having some features that we are capturing into our class name and doing the program okay so this is what the line number 3 states clear Yes, sir. right. Now, what I'm writing here is welcome to. Okay, I'm writing here an ID in HD. You know this one. Any element can have an ID, whereas it's just user defined in HD, out HD, whatever it is. Okay, what we have planned here is so go to the top. In the class components, our concept is main concept. What it is? Class based life cycle hooks. Life cycle hooks are the nothing but built in methods. We are using that life cycle hooks inside the class components. What is that life cycle hooks? Again, the question life cycle hooks are the automated methods will be executed depends upon the situation comes arises. Simply, I say when you are planning to move from one place to another place, you are taking a vehicle, you are starting that engine. That means here you have used. get them that is to load the data whereas that is starting of your application code first then in this we are planning to do some updations so what are those updations here we are planning to do how to do that updations so right here component did update how you can update if you don't know what is the previous value? Then there is no meaning of an updation right now. If there is something, a value and you are updating, that is clear picture. But if you don't know, you can't update. So to get a clarity here, component did update. We are writing. Previous. Props. That is first. We are planning to find out previous props. And this previous props is going to be checked with the current props. Whereas simply if you observe 
completed equals to true. That is defaultly someone have given. When I click on checkbox, now it's updated to false. Do you say the previous property and present property is going to be matched at any cost? No. Right? True or false will not at all be matching right now. Here also, what is our concept is? Previous props. Here, inside this, I am writing here, var something red, a variable, math dot floor math dot the meaning of this statement is math is a built-in object having a method of floor which is used to make it a round figure inside that floor Math is an object referring to the random method which it will give something 0, 0, 0.0 something so on so on. For each and every time it will give something unique number in decimal points that you are converting into something number by multiplying 256. Why 256 means because of we have around 256 web cards. That's the reason. Okay. It is just an exp uh, expression we have planned. And with this statement, with this state, sorry, with this statement, we have got some red color value. In the same way, were green match dot floor then match dot random two fifty six so hope the group is created is it right or green red of okay, great green group I mean what's up to five in that And everyone is in there, right? So, two fifty six. Bolna, I mean, Bolna means I'm saying that my 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 thinking of is tell me, is it right? So I'm just trying. So WhatsApp group is created or not? I and mean, all of you are into that part or not? Yes, it's created. Sure. Okay, <laughs> right. Yes, sir. Friends, yes. So those who are see, those who are practicing, whatever you are practicing, just immediately post in there in the WhatsApp. It's a learning platform. Really fantastic. I mean, WhatsApp is not WhatsApp is not created for that. Purpose, but you are into the one group. Make sure if you do something else, I have done this job and I have faced these errors so that other, others also can understand. Okay, if we go with this code, we are getting these errors. Sharing of information, don't think sharing of information is will hide something else, your knowledge from someone. Sorry, will steal something else, knowledge from you. No way. There is no point of any stealing of knowledge. OK, so as much as you express, you will be getting reverse more. Because if you are doing wrong, the other your friend will not will won't keep silent right now. Are you are creating wrong and go and do correct? Then he will he or she will suggest you. Right. So if you keep silent, no point of discussion. So make sure from today onwards to Chit chat with all the queries, whatever you have. Of course, I do. I'm not saying to not to ask me, but right while practicing, I'm saying that whatever the code you are writing, the syntax wise or problems which you are facing, post your screenshots to your friends in the group. Then ask them 
how to solve. They will, if they have an idea, immediately they will respond. That's a group of discussions right now. Mm -hmm. If no one is getting, yes, I'm here to explain. Okay, but doesn't mean it's not a point of do not to ask me. I am just trying to encourage you with simplest way, faster way. Okay, then. So the above three lines, what it will give? A unique number of red, a unique number of green, a unique number of blue, which is where RGB. Okay, next. Or PG color and that equals to RGB dollar red comma dollar green comma dollar blue. Okay, so you get ready something else. Now the main code will start. We are writing if condition. If you observe produce header in the container come down. Produce header in the container. Sorry, uh, in the container. What is the property? Header span. It's your wish. You can write anything. Header span is one of the property which is getting something value, maybe true or false, whatever it is. That you are checking here. How you are passing a property right now? So you can write here previous props dot that address span. If it is not equivalent to the current property, which is this dot props dot. address span when previous property false is not equal to, to true then entering into the definition now seeing a statement document dot get element by id document dot get element by id what is that id in hd here okay into this in hd dot inner html what is the meaning of this term so what is the meaning of this statement you are planning to write something uh what you can say for example class based life cycle books this is a text a value which is setting inside or writing inside the given selector with in HTML built-in property. Additionally to this, document dot get element by ID in HD. We are even applying something style, whereas the background color that equals to bg color that variable right now so overall if you observe there is only one text welcome to we have planned when this update needs to be displayed observe here default show equals to false okay then when you come down handle change along with that to do's in the completed concept you are changing the value of false to true as it is updated that true true previously it is false and that equal not equals to true then write this statement into this selector additionally apply a dynamic color for each and every time which is generating as a background color to this so that is the 
point. But when it is going to be happen, all these points of updation, when user takes an action of handle change, of course, in input element, clicking checkbox, clicking checkbox, and checking like this. Let us, okay, uh, what is the error? To do header, okay. In the container, we did not give the call right now. Import, I'm seeing that. Import to do header. That's great. Okay, as it's already running here, let us check it out. So D, default welcome to, no text. Let me refresh. Now when I'm clicking on this, one thing, you are updating from unchecked to check. Another thing, you are planning to see here a text at the same time styling. Right. For each and the text is same, but the color is changing right now. For each and every time of an action, not only this one, to any action, to any button, for, for each and every time, that background color, this RGB, it is generating a new value. How it is generating? We have given a simple code with a random into 256 and make it a round figure and set red, green, blue, and give as a values. The BG color. Clear now? How it's working? When user is taking an action off, checking or unchecking of a particular item. Not only the item is updating, you even given preference to update the something else, the color or text for each and every time it's loading same, but as it is same, so you are seeing same text. If you want something else different, yes, you can make it something different for each and every time. That is dynamically you can just push that's later point. Okay, now. We are done with the checking that is changing and even uh, what you can say deleting and even updation that's combination. Overall, now we are going to plan the final point, which is nothing but adding a new item. Okay, adding that item to the existing items. So what I will do here, yes, here. Okay. We'll write here input to do is a component. One second. Input to do is a component inside this add add to do props. It is a property which is connecting to this dot add to do item. It is a method. We are expected to write the definition. Okay. When it is given a call, uh, go to that. Where is it? To do's input. Okay. According to this, to do's input writer, not input. Writer. To do's. Input. Okay, then now in this file, in this concept, import React from React. Class, class. What is that class name? Produce input. 
extends. Okay, T. Either you can use like this, or you can use React dot component. And inside this, let's declare a state. What we are asking that user to enter, we are asking that user to enter the title. Title. So for that, you are writing here title. Then now, run statement. Let's open a new a class name. Simply open, make it a row. Then inside this, Open a form. Answer. Inside this, write an input element. Input type equals to text. The class name, form, control, whereas the placeholder, enter any item, whereas value, value we can just write from the state, this dot, state dot, Title. That is default empty as of now. Okay. Whereas the name of this input element is same that we can write title. Apart of all these points, when user type something else, first we need to capture the characters and then we need to submit. So on change, on change event handler, this dot on change okay so here let me even write on yesterday someone then same thing i mean in terms of form validation somewhere else okay so you have to first capture this one then once user clicks on it on submit okay it's your wish that you can write anything as a method of course here, this dot on submit or handle submit or whatever you want. Submit. Then let's even write so margin bottom three. Then write a button, the type submit. You have to write. Type submit. Then the class, the class name, btn space, btn hyphen. Mm, okay, something primary, and saying that submit. So when user clicks on this. Okay, as you have submitted, first it is capturing the value. You can write handle change, handle change method. So two methods that you have tried: handle change and handle submit. So now first, how you can write handle change? Handle change that equals to. The event event dot prevent default. What is the meaning of this? It means 
if it is already having something value inside this event or if it's already captured something else we are removing we are stopping that or we we are clearing out totally from then freshly we are planning to make it again a new event so first thing then if you observe here this dot props dot this dot props dot add to do props right here this dot props dot add to do props of this dot state dot title right we are getting we are entering that value right now that value we are pushing as a property sir parameter to this method that like as how we have planned here not here now how we have planned passing handle change properties of id the same way we have planned here passing the title to this method sorry to this property so then, yes still please uh, sir on change me the first we have to get the value and set to the title now nah? hmm yes here if you observe exactly what you said correct only i just mistake here but what you have to do now okay keep us at let's just remove this one where is that handle change handle change okay that equals to the event then accepting how that you can accept with a set the state into the title property right you event. are yes event dot target value. target dot what is that value right now value. yes so that's correct either you can write like this or else if you observe line number five that is title is also same that is name same uh, title whereas for the input element also we have same name right now name equals title so in that case you can write here event dot target dot the name both are same so name and its value now yes go to handle submit as you have accepted now it's correct way of writing event and event dot prevent default prevent default whatever that you have captured now you have line number 10 is captured with the value right now so you can pass this dot props dot add to do props of what do you see either you can write simply okay not simply uh, from the state dot title now you can accept right it will accept now because that line number 8 to 12 it's already we have a value of the title okay once we are let us we have to we are passing a value and from this it will enter into the container to this from this it will enter into the add to do item we'll do some programming and will come back okay that programming will write there itself here after adding a new value again we are resetting the title to make it as an empty that's it completed now so now the only one point that we have to write in this we are passing a parameter that is title that we have connected to the method which is called add to do item so in the container place we have to write add to do 
item and that equals to that it. Here, not only the title, you even have to generate a new unique ID right now. When you are creating a new item, that it needs to refer with a unique ID. So you need to set an ID, title, and completed as either false or true default. So right here, const new to do and that equals to now we will be uncommenting these points in the very beginning we have planned to see right now right okay so what you can do now you can just simply write v4 as this one so you you id v4 that you can just use so where it can be so right here do that id UUID v4, comma, the title which you have fetch from the input element. Additionally, the completed, saying that defaultly as false. This, these are the three properties just to set under the variable. Now, this is a variable you are going to update with a set state into that to do's the triple dot referring as a rest parameter is nothing but from the group of into the group of or from the group of items you are planning to push the new item that's completed what is the error okay to lose input huh? let us write import to do's input to do's or to do's to do's input why Correct only right now. Produce input. Let's write import produce input from and still okay. Import in body of module. Uh, Import, but why? What is the problem? Produce, produce. Okay, we did not export it. Mm. Export default. Okay. Line number nine and ten, sorry, line number eight and nine, saying that reorder to top. Mm. Is there anything else missing or something else spelling mistake or somewhere else? Let's come down. We have add to do, okay, container. Let's do one thing here. We just remove this one. Inside this. Sorry. Add to do's props and that equals to this dot 
add it to do item. Mm -hmm. Might be somewhere else missing the code. Export sir, default. Uh, tell me, please. Sir, we are calling that function. I think that's the issue uh, in uh, the uh, top of that yeah. container file. Fine, second. Let's check it out. Right, right, and it change. Import in body of modula. Mm. Let's come down here. Render, return, form, on submit equals to handle submit. Right now. OK, let's do one thing. If we are getting the problem only with this or main here, to just get it clarity, what I will do first, I will just comment this one so that we can get on this one. This one. OK, that means it's not a problem with the to do's input. Sir, it's UUID we are calling in top of the level. Top of the level. Yes. Oh, sir, this oh. function is calling fifth line. Oh, OK, oh, sorry. I just forgot about this point. <laughs> right, right. I am thinking that I am just done. Now, that's it. OK, let's check it out. Now we are done. Uh, what is the light number six? User ID is assigned, but a value is where it is to do item to do item. OK, no worries. We can just remove this one. That's not a problem. We don't need to bother about the warnings. We can't. OK. Let us check it out now. So we are. We are able to. Do some actions. Remove. Then I'm just of course I'm just copying and pasting. Let us check it out. We have this item or not. So something else that might be a problem with ID, I guess. OK, let me do one thing. Previously, I have given uh, where it is here. Let me check it out. New. Right click. Click on inspect element. Click on console. OK, the problem here is handle submit is not a function. It's saying that why why handle submit. Where is tools input? This dot handle submit. Right. So what is that error we are getting here? This dot props dot add to do props is not a function. Is saying that. OK, 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 OK. In the above. This is saying that it's not a method. Let's check it out here. Mm. 
that's why right. okay spelling mistake simple let's check it out another one now let us close this one so okay something else i'm writing check it out whether we are okay right okay first day so just make it okay when you click on this one but both are getting same ids we have to just think about it once when you click on this one both are going out because both are having same ids so what we can do let's make it as a function something okay item is displaying whereas two items now okay that means we need to just go with the function open closing parenthesis so with this we are totally done with the concept of what do you say good operations we have implemented with the one of the concept to do concept and here we have implemented rest api that is fetching the data second thing we are what do you say uh, implementing the concept of passing properties from one component to another component overall picture we have implemented with the concept of class based life cycle hooks which are component did mount is an initial stage component did update to update it is an optional it's not a mandatory okay component did mount is a default or it's required to initialize the values. So this is all the how that you can get a clarity about the concept of class based. OK, and. Any questions, please? That is what we have discussed. Sir, tell me this. Uh, sir, line number 52, I'm just a little bit confused with the rest and the spread parameter. This one is a rest parameter. That line number 52. 52, rest parameters. Okay, what is the difference between rest parameters and spread, sorry, spread operators? Rest parameters and spread operators. Whereas when you pass a simply three triple dots in function definition as an argument, that's called rest parameters. The same thing when you go with the function call is a spread operators. Okay, you can just check it out. We can just recap that point in that JavaScript we have discussed like thing right now. Yes, sir. Rest here. Right in the function definition as an argument, which we can say as a rest parameters. The opposite at the function call, right in the three things. Here, our case, what do you say now? It is already in the definition. We are updating. That's why we call it as a what do you say? One of the parameters we can say in the function definition, it's called rest parameters. Okay. Yes. Right then. Okay then.
So the rest of this we'll discuss in tomorrow's session and then. OK. One second, hold on, please. Anyway, so what are the topics that OK in tomorrow's session that we will discuss, especially with the concept of Redux. OK, before going to Redux uh, with the concept of. Functional life cycle hooks. Let me just open once. If there is a functional, OK, we have life cycle hooks already right now. Then in that case, we can discuss tomorrow one point functional life cycle hooks. Then let me check it out. OK, hooks, hooks, hooks. OK, so once we are done with the concept of functional life cycle hooks, then we are good to move to the Redux concept. That is on Monday sessions. Whereas on Monday and Tuesday to the maximum Wednesday will be the closing point of that is unit testing also along with the unit testing. OK, and. And uh, additionally, one is one concept, simple concept HOC higher order component. That's not a big topic. It's just a simple topic we can discuss. OK, so to the maximum next to Wednesday expecting to close. But if it's delay. No worries, we can close on Thursday. That it's not a point of closing. It's a point of how far that you are practicing. At the same time, don't rely only on me. OK, <laughs> on the sessions and live sessions directly. Take a priority of practicing also. If you don't practice even 100 sessions, also no use. But you already know because you are already professionals. Right, so. Make it priority in terms of completing the task first, whatever we have discussed and no one is showing except my No one is given any link tomorrow expecting that is a final request and no point of again. I will ask. OK. Right then, OK. Hello, good morning, yes, Ramakrishna. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Seema, right? Yes, Seema here. Right, good morning, Seema. Good morning. So yeah, uh, any progress yes. by the candidates? Seema, let me tell you one thing to the max to the uh, exact statement or point. There is there's hmm. too much of lacking behind of practicing from all the members, Seema. <laughs> I am forcing them okay. frequently. Actually, they are not kids to force their first point. Second thing. <laughs> It's a point of hmm. encouragement of session. How far we can do motivation to the maximum one or two statements. It's not a point of motivation in hmm. classes. Third thing, hmm. giving a conceptualized point to point explanation, execution from the points. And till, sorry, till now, from last Friday, I'm asking the members to show their outputs, but only Mayank given an output and no one given any output till now. <laughs> OK, so guys, you have an issue. Hai, kuch mein nahi aaya, isliye aap kar nahi pa rahe. please speak out. Kuch issue hai, isliye nahi kar pa rahe hai, to please. Respond karo, taki hum kuch to solution nikale uska. Yes, please unmute yourself, all of you. It's kind request. Hello. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, can you just clear the way? Just as a just as a clear way. 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 सी कसा है नहीं नहीं गौरव कसा है HTML हो HTML CSS हा पार्ट जो है ना हा बेसिक आहे आता जी शिकताय ना हा एडवांस आहे ऑबवियसली डिफरेंस तर असणारच आहे हे पहिले एक्सेप्ट करा ठीक है डिफरेंस तर असणारच आहे सेकंड थिंग काय आहे तुम्हाला जे नाही समजलं बाय प्रॅक्टिस व्हिडिओ रेकॉर्डिंग्स तुमच्यासाठी आहेत रेकॉर्डिंग्स चेक करा रेकॉर्डिंग थ्रू डाउट असेल ते काढून घ्या ट्रेनर समोर या Yes, Swapnil. Uh, recordings to access me, what are you doing? 
मी चेक करते मला सांगा तरी मी चेक करते तुमच्यासाठी जे पाहिजे ते रेकॉर्डिंग सक्सेस कोणाला नाहीये मी ट्राय करतो ओपन आहे तुम्ही काय करा फाईल्स च्या अंडर तुम्ही रेकॉर्डिंग चेक करताय का टीम्स मध्ये फाईल्स मध्ये शो करते राईट फाईल्स के अंडर आपको दो फोल्डर अभि बनाया गया है दो फोल्डर में जेएस एंड एडवांस जेएस का एक फोल्डर अलग से बनाया गया है जिसमें वो रिकॉर्डिंग है टिल द डेट आज का रिकॉर्डिंग आपको रिकॉर्डिंग्स के अंडर मिलेगा दो फोल्डर वहां पे दिखेंगे आपको जेएस एंड एडवांस जेएस उसके अंडर प्रीवियस रिकॉर्डिंग्स है आपने ओपन करके देखा है सब लोगों ने राइट तो अभी आप किसी को एक्सेस नहीं है या ओपन नहीं हो रहा है ऐसा कुछ प्रॉब्लम है तो मुझे बता दो हेलो हेलो ये ये आई एम गेटिंग सम नेटवर्क इश्यूज दैट्स व्हाई इट्स डिस्क्रेटिंग मिडिल ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग रामकृष्ण दे आर सेइंग दैट दे आर नॉट गेटिंग द रिकॉर्डिंग एक्सेस so i'm going to check that i'm going to check mm. that and they need to revise all the session then they mm. come up with all the doubts and we whatever uh, assignments you have given give them the target date yeah yes yes i already said then actually only, this then monday then we will continue the session once they submitted once they done with all the things na then we will continue mm. with the next next uh, syllabus Ah, yeah, that is what even last since uh, last Friday I have asked them to complete the task by this Monday itself. But Monday, mm-hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday it's going on. So okay, I'm me, yeah. I will ask to the all the guys right now. Okay. Hmm. So hmm. yes, up. Kisko kuch issue aa gaya hai. Jo bhi task diya gaya hai, apko complete nahi kar paaye. Isme kya apko difficulties hai? Please tell me. रिकॉर्डिंग एक है रिकॉर्डिंग का भी डन हो गया एक्सेस है सबको प्लीज चेक करो हेलो अपार्ट फ्रॉम रिकॉर्डिंग और हाँ यस एक्सेस मिलता है ना आता एक्सेस आए सर ना ओके नो प्रॉब्लेम मग असाइनमेंट तुमचे जे टास्क दिलाय तो कम्प्लीट झाला नाही या मागे अजून काय कारण आहे ऍक्च्युली आम्हाला टाइम भेटत नाही म्हणजे मी वर्किंग असल्यामुळे थोडासा टाइम कमी भेटत आहे काय वर्किंग असल्यामुळे थोडासा टाइम कमी भेटत आहे त्याच्यात व्हिडिओ पण पाहून मग स्वतःचे असाइनमेंट पण कम्प्लीट करायचे सो बेटर होईल सगळ्यांसाठी एक दोन दिवसाचा गॅप भेटेल का सेशन मध्ये म्हणजे आम्ही वी कॅन डू दॅट येस पण सगळे अग्री आहेत का याला सगळे अग्री आहेत का हो मॅम हा येस सो टुडे इज व्हॉट डे टुडे इज थर्सडे राईट येस मॅम फ्रायडे आय थिंक सो आय हॅज थर्सडे ना मंडे ला सेशन कंटिन्यू करूयात ज्यांनी सगळं टील नाव सगळं दाखवेन असं हा मग हे सगळ्यांना अग्री आहे का मंडे ला आपण कंटिन्यू करूया तीन दिवसाचा गॅप घेऊन तर सगळ्यांना अग्री आहे का हे हो मॅम हो टाइम टू फिनिश द टास्क Mm. so what okay. they what they want exactly they need uh, they need gap in the session 
we do have continuous session mm. in this week right so they right. need gap so that tomorrow we won't have if we won't have the session then mm. they will uh, they will get the time for three days and they complete the task whatever you have given to them and by monday they will they will come up with all the things mm. Mm. okay so is it work for you Hmm, okay, see, that's not a problem. Only thing is, first they need to get a clarity what we have discussed so far, right? Huh? So that's given priority. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Hello. Hello. Right, okay, see, uh, all the members are okay to have something else time requirement. Then we'll give mm. time, okay, that tomorrow that will be not having a session, whereas Thursday, mm. Friday, Saturday, Sunday will be having three days discussion, sorry. Three days having some time and they can do something mm. else and they can understand something else what we had already into the advanced level of React JS. And we are exactly. in the next week, actually it's planning to close. So. I mean the total five days. Okay, so the mm -hmm. final stages, especially Redux concept, is an advanced level. Whereas testing of writing the test code is an advanced level. So it's better. Yes. So let's give a chance and let's give a time to them to complete the assignments what we have done so far. Mm -hmm. And the one, and I even want and I even say to the, all the members as you have already created a WhatsApp group right now. And let them post their questions. There is a chit chat with the friends what they are facing the issues and they can solve. If someone is facing the issues, other friend will help immediately if already it's completed right now. Instead of individually discussing and come spending some time more. What do you say? Exactly, exactly. You are you are right. Yes. So I you even are play, right. asking them to just chat, post their screenshots, what they are writing the code, what they're Facing the issues, immediately that will be resolved without taking no time. Yes, yes, yes. We can do that. So, guys, understand what he is what he is saying. Whatever doubts you will you will get during the practice. So you can you can drop message on WhatsApp group so that everyone can get it know the things what the doubts are. ठीक है सबको समझ में आया आप डाउट्स डाल दो नंबर ऑफ क्वेरीज डाल दो ग्रुप में ट्रेनर आपका सॉल्व कर जाएंगे समझ में आ रहा है सबको प्लीज रिस्पॉन्ड ओके डाउट आने चाहिए मैं देखूंगी कितने लोगों के डाउट्स आ रहे हैं उसमें ठीक है आप डाउट्स को बम्बार्डिंग कर दो नो इन इश्यूज ठीक है ओके okay, मैम ठीक है ओके ऑल आर एग्रीड रामकृष्ण सो होप यू ज्वाइन दैट ग्रुप रामकृष्ण ओके श्योर प्लीज सेंड द लिंक टू मी वंस ओके या नो प्रॉब्लम राइट ओके ओके सो एवरीवन एवरीवन शुड बी इन दैट ग्रुप आई आई ड्रॉप लिंक इन चैट बॉक्स ऑफ एमएस टीम्स ओनली सो यू कैन ओपन दैट चेक द लिंक एंड ज्वाइन द सेम ओके right right yes okay then so uh, we won't have session tomorrow we will meet on monday only right okay ma right okay okay okay, okay, okay ma yeah yes ramakrishna okay. okay thank you okay. thank you so much all of thank you so and have a nice day and have a great weekend also okay yeah thank you thanks thank same you. to you ramakrishna bye thank thank you and bye